four years in the making. Our diaspora goma salad deba is our pride and joy. Made in collaboration with Tipoy, it's hand spun brass shaped to hold seven beautiful spices. Because brass is an alloy of copper and tin, it does develop a patina over time as it's exposed to moisture and touch. So the more you use your dubba, the more you might realize that it needs some TLC every now and then. Some people like this really aged look, whereas some people, me, like to keep it really bright and shiny. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So just like you see in a cast iron pan, you wanna begin your relationship with your dabba by rubbing it all over with a little bit of coconut oil and then wiping that down with a clean towel to create a really nice protective coating between the outside and the dabba. This will help it patina more beautifully and more evenly, which means you can go longer without a cleaning. Um, but when you are at that time and you need a cleaning, I recommend using a food safe cleaner like Flitz. So Flitz is a very effective paste that comes ready to use. To make the most of your Flitz, you can put a very small amount directly onto your dubba, scrub until the blue paste turns black and begins to rub off. And then once your dubba is starting to look shiny and clean underneath the blackness, you wanna rinse with warm water and some dish soap to ensure the acid doesn't continue to eat at the metal. Finish by using a soft cloth to wipe the dubba. If you only need a gentle cleaning with not that much patination, you can use a more natural method that we've been using for years of just flour and white vinegar. So you're combining both ingredients to a paste-like consistency. There's no special ratio. You just want the paste to look like this, not too runny, not too dry. Scrub the paste onto the dubba with a soft brush like a vegetable scrubber or a toothbrush. Do not use steel, wool, or a metal scrubber. This will definitely scratch your dubba up. After you finish that light scrubbing, bring your dubba to the sink and rinse it in warm water and wipe it dry. You may have to repeat this process twice for tougher stains, but for the most part this will do the job for a light cleaning. And then finally, after using either flits or the DIY flour vinegar paste, you can rub your dubba all over with coconut oil to seal and wipe off with a soft towel again for a really smooth shine. So that's it. And that's how you're gonna keep your brand new masala dubba shiny and clean for years, if not generations to come.